I'm not a vegan. I would be that chef when you'd get, oh, you know, check on one vegan on the table and everyone dreads it. And now all we cook is plant-based food. It's about just to think ahead, to be like, okay, the way we're going at the minute, it's not sustainable in 50 years. Probably is something that everyone needs to start thinking seriously about. And just changing their mindset a little bit to be open and the whole point in art is to show everybody that you can come out and eat a really good meal and it's plant-based. These three dishes at Arc are really probably some of the standouts or my personal favourites. We do one that's the blue oyster mushroom that's cooked on a yakitori. So we cook it on the coals in the kitchen and we just glaze it with an umami glaze. And then we do a raw tartare that's served on an oyster leaf. They are a staple on the menu. When I think of traditional cooking, there's ingredients that are always looked at as pure luxury. Foie gras, caviar. And these are all the things really difficult in plant-based terms. So we've been developing brioche for, for a while without actual butter inside. Yesterday was the day that we just kind of nailed our foie gras terrine. And then we have to nail the caviar next, which is still heavily in development because it's very difficult to get anywhere near acceptable to give to our guests. And then on the dessert front, we do a, a forest dessert. The inspiration came from a walk that I took with my partner through a forest just as winter was coming in. And a little bit of Japanese influence in there as well. And I can say that these three, uh, these three dishes at Arc are really probably some of the standouts or my personal favorites. We co-own our own mushroom farm. It's 15 minutes from the restaurant. They deliver the mushrooms by bicycle. A lot of the main dishes that we have on the menu are developed around fungal farm mushrooms because the product is amazing. Next door to fungal farm is a micro herb farm. All the CO2 emissions that's let off from the mushroom growing goes into the micro herb farm to then grow the herbs up the road in the middle of Copenhagen. When the first lockdown came, we had only been open for a couple of months. One of the biggest effects it has is, is a staffing issue. In Copenhagen, the hospitality industry is based on expats. When we're in a pandemic and everybody goes home, as soon as we're allowed to open again, we're left with a major staff crisis. It obviously affects our suppliers. Huge amount of produce, then you go into lockdown and then it's got nowhere to go. It's a massive knock-on effect. I mean, working in a kitchen is hard. It's long hours, it's physically and mentally difficult, and to take extra steps on top of the norm so we can be sustainable is really important for us. Also, accept that maybe being sustainable is not necessarily going to be the cheapest way to run a business, because naturally, if I buy everything, import furniture from China, of course it's cheaper, but it's not sustainable. And if you really want to go down the rabbit hole, you really need to think about everything that you're doing, where you get everything from, and also accept the fact that it's probably going to cost you more money, which from a business perspective isn't always the smart decision. But of course, from a sustainable point of view or environmentally friendly point of view, it makes sense. Any accolade from Michelin is, is amazing. It's unbelievable to get a green star when there's such a small amount of restaurants in the world that have it. It is for sustainable gastronomy. It's obviously 100% welcome. Sustainability and environment is much more in the forefront of everybody's mind. In particular, somewhere like Copenhagen, where they've been also at the forefront of much more environmentally friendly practices. They're much more sustainably focused in their mindset. And I think we're becoming like a small collection of, of restaurants who can really show the world what is possible. My name is Brett and I'm the executive chef of Restaurant Art in Copenhagen. <laughs>